And in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about determinants. And what I have here is a determinant of a two by two matrix. And this right here is a determinant of a three by three matrix. So of course, we're talking about matrices. And this is a real big topic for those of you that might be studying algebra two, college algebra, pre-calculus, those type of courses. This is where you really get into uh, matrices and uh, especially calculating determinants. Now there's a big difference between calculating a, a determinant of a two by two versus a three by three. Of course, I'm gonna explain uh, both of these problems here in just one second. But if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comments section. And then we're gonna go ahead and walk through the uh, steps to calculate uh, the determinant of a two by two and a three by three. And of course, I'll explain to you what a determinant is as well. Okay, so the determinant of this two by two matrix. Now I'm saying this is a two by two. Uh, well, we're taking the determinant of a two by two matrix. So let's just kind of be clear about this, right? You can see the answers. So notice if I have a matrix like this, uh, th uh, let's call this five, three, one, two, something like that. This is a matrix because you see this notation here, these brackets, this in indicates that this is a matrix. So we can call this like matrix A. Now, if I want to find the determinant of matrix A, I would use this notation. They kind of look like absolute value bars. They're straight up and down like so. So this is this notation here is the determinant of matrix A. Okay, so I just don't want to confuse anyone there. Really important because these bars and these um, little brackets here, they do look similar, but they uh, mean two different things. Now, uh, let's just talk about what this two by two means. The two here is rows. Oops, let me write this right here. This is rows by columns. So this matrix has uh, two rows and two columns. Now, hopefully you're pretty familiar with uh, what a matrix is. And a matrix is nothing more than a way to organize information in an array. Okay, let me kind of see if I could spell this uh, correctly. I know I, I misspelled that. <laughs> Come to me for math help, not for spelling help. Maybe I spelled that. Maybe I need an A there. No, I'm. listen, I probably shouldn't even have brought it up. But basically, when you hear that word uh, in array, it means a, basically a matrix, which effectively is just a way to organize information by rows and columns. Okay, so that's what a matrix is. So we're organizing information by rows and columns. Now, what we can do when we have matrices, this is very powerful stuff. If you think about, like, say, a spreadsheet, uh, and I can uh, spell this Excel, like Microsoft Excel, right? You got a bunch of rows and columns and whatnot. So, you know, people will work with spreadsheets or databases. All the information is organized in this manner, okay? So, uh, you know, from a fancy uh, word or computer science type of word or mathematical word, we could describe a spreadsheet as an array or a, as a matrix, okay? But a matrix is a little bit more different. We're kind of talking about these type of problems when we're looking at matrices. But again, it's all connected. It's all information organized by rows and columns. Now, once we have a matrix, we can do several things with a, mat or, uh, a matrix and various matrices. If we have a square matrix, i.e. a two by two, a three by three, equal number of rows and columns, we can find this thing called a determinant. And a determinant is just an associated number with a square matrix, okay? So in this case, the answer here for this two by two is seven, and the determinant for this particular three by three is negative 19. All right, so I kind of give you a little bit of a mini lesson there. Uh, it's certainly not in spelling, but on the concept of what a matrix is and what a determinant is. You won't be able to take a determinant of a non-square matrix. Now, what does this number mean? Well, it's just a number that's associated with the square matrices. It doesn't really have any particular value in and of itself. However, determinants are a critical part of other types of things you can do to solve all sorts of problems. So you definitely need to know how to calculate determinants. And if you got both of these problems correct, well, as a matter of fact, let's do, let's do this. Let's say you knew how to do 
the uh, two by two. So we'll give you a nice little happy face and I will give you, I'm going to give you a B plus because it's super easy to do. But if you were able to get this three by three right, I'm going to give you a big old happy face and A plus plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you certainly understand how to calculate uh, the determinant of various matrices. Now, of course, if we're dealing with a four by four matrix, et cetera, it, these um, uh, problems do get pro progressively more difficult. And there is a big difference to calculate calculating the determinant of a two by two versus a three by three. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. And we'll start off by the two by two. So the determinant of a two by two matrix. So in this particular problem, we see that the answer is seven. It is super easy. All you need to do is to follow this pattern. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're literally going to uh, multiply across this way. Okay, so these entries of this uh, particular matrix, you're going to multiply uh, it diagonally. Okay, so this is going to be five times two. You're always going to start in this direction. There's a very specific kind of pattern here. So you're going to start here. So five times two, that would be our first product. Okay, then we're going to subtract that from the product of the diagonals going this way, okay, one times three, or these two entries right there. And so when we do that, okay, we have five times two, of course, is gonna be 10, minus one times three, which is three, so 10 minus three is seven, and that is it. That's all you have to remember, so if you remember this particular pattern, you'll be good to go on finding the determinant of a two by two matrix. Okay, so uh, super easy stuff. Now let's get into a three by three, and this is where it gets much more exciting. And basically, when you're calculating the determinant of, of a three by three, you have some options, okay? We have two methods here. You can uh, use the expansion method, which is a pretty cool method. You need to know both methods here, uh, or the diagonal method. Now I would say uh, most students probably are um, uh, much more familiar with the expansion method. It's probably kind of the main method that your teacher might teach you. However, I would say the expansion method mm, with a three by three, uh, for me personally, I think it's a little bit more involved. I love this diagonal method um, when you're calculating the determinant of a three, a three by three. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the diagonal method. Now, if you need help, help with matrices, inverse matrices, Kramer's rules, determinants, all this kind of stuff, definitely check out like my Algebra 2 course or my pre-calculus course. I get into all this stuff to include the expansion method. So the expansion method is a, it's a little bit more involved than the diagonal method, but I, you know, the diagonal method is such a direct, clean, uh, straightforward method. So uh, anyways, if you need help specifically with any of these methods, of course, you know, check out those respective courses. And of course, you can find those at my Math Help program. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this diagonal method. Now, I did tell you in the beginning of the video what the solution is. So the determinant of this three by three is negative 19. Let's see how this diagonal method works. Okay, so here is our determinant, right? Now, remember, if I gave you this matrix like so, okay, that right here is just saying that this is a matrix, okay? This is a matrix, no big deal. But if I uh, write this matrix down and then I'm like, okay, find this, well, this right here is telling me to calculate the determinant of that three by three matrix. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the diagonal method. So what we're gonna do first is the following. So you're gonna write your determinant. Of course, you can see it written right here, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to copy down the first two columns, okay? So you can see here we have one, three, one, two, five, zero. You're gonna copy those first two columns. You're gonna put them right over here, okay? So hopefully you kind of see that setup. And when you do this, you want to make sure, uh, it's very important when you're working with matrices to be super neat and organized and have your kind of number spacing kind of equal distance, okay? Because you'll see here in a second why this is important. So you really, really want to be as neat as possible. So in other words, you don't want to um, have like your determinant like this, one, three, one, 
uh, two, five, zero. I'm trying to be kind of sloppy. It's kind of hard for me to do that. Two, three, one, and then one, three, one, two, five, zero, something like that. This is no good. Okay. This one right here definitely cause confusion and you'll be like, what is going on? I am totally lost. So when it comes to working with matrices, uh, this is a real um, kind of weak area for those of you out there that are kind of sloppy, okay? You have to be super uh, neat in math. It took me a long time to, you know, really work on my neatness. So if you're kind of sloppy and you're, you know, like to write small, I get it. I was that way myself, but you have to work on really improving your neatness, okay? Because if not, you're going to make mistakes and give yourself enough uh, space so you can see what's going on. Okay. So you can see here, I have everything kind of spaced um, nice and evenly amongst these numbers. All I did was take that first two columns and put them behind here. All right, so once that is set up, we're going to follow a particular pattern, okay? Very much kind of like the two by two matrix pattern. Here is what we're gonna do, okay? So you can see this blue lines, these diagonals like so. You're going to multiply, okay? You're going to create products with each of these diagonals, okay? So let me show you right here. So let's say 1, 5, and 3. 1, 5, and 3, it's highlighted in blue. You can see that pretty well on your uh, phone or your computer screen. So that's 1 times 5 times 3, that's 15. Okay, so we're going to put that product right there, and then we're going to go right here. You see this? 2 times 2 times 1, we're specifically going from this direction, okay, first. You're going to go all these diagonals you are going to find the product so one times five times three that's 15 two times two times one that's four four times three times zero is zero okay so again not this way definitely going downhill from left to right okay so that's the first thing you do and notice how i have this in parentheses okay this is what you want to uh, focus on so once we have the product of each of those diagonals we're going to add them up and put those in parentheses and we're going to subtract away by doing the same thing but this time we're going to go uphill okay so we're going to start this way one times five times four that's 20. zero times two times one of course is zero and then three times three is nine times two that's 18. okay so you can see the pattern here and again you got to follow this very very specific pattern all right so once you have this you know it's not difficult we're not talking about um uh, difficult arithmetic here, but what is difficult is being super neat and organized. That's where it like, gets a lot of students, a lot of good math students, they know what to do, they just make a, mis a numeric mistake. It's very, very common. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this problem up now. We have 15 plus 4 plus 0, that's 19, and we're going to subtract that away from the sum of these products. That's 20 plus 0 plus 18, that's 38. 19 minus 38 is negative 19. Of course, just be careful with those negative signs. But that is it. That's how you find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix using the diagonal method. Of course, there is that expansion method. And more than likely, you're going to have to demonstrate um, uh, one or um, I know many teachers are going to want you to show both techniques okay, on a test or exam. So again, if you need help with determinants or matrices or inverse matrices, uh, Kramer's rule, all that kind of good stuff. It's a very, really big topic and a very, very important topic in mathematics. Again, check out my Algebra 2 or Pre-Calculus course. But if this video was exciting and helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.